crowds of people, open doors, arrivals, departures, bags and parcels. The same things that make America's hotels and motels inviting for guests make them attractive targets for terrorists and criminals. As someone who works or stays in hotels or motels, large or small, center city or roadside, full service or family style, you can help keep them safe. If you see something, say something. Terrorists and criminals the world over have targeted places of lodging. Easy access and crowds of people in public spaces are attractive to those wishing to inflict mass casualties and make headline news. Welcome to the hotel, sir. Thank what can you do to make the place you work or stay more secure? You can simply look around you, stay alert, and be ready and willing to report things that are suspicious. How are you doing today? Don't be fooled into thinking you can spot suspicious people. Hi, Terrorists and criminals work to blend in and may look no different than the guests and visitors that come through your hotel every day. Uh, the server range over? That's the one. Go right on it, right on it. But you can spot suspicious behavior. You know what is normal and customary, and what's unusual and out of place. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Did you tell him he could leave his car back here? Sir! Sir! You can't leave your car here, sir! Guests often leave vehicles at hotel and motel entrances while they check in or load bags. In and of itself, this may not be suspicious activity. But the abandonment of vehicles, particularly trucks, vans, or cars missing identification such as company logos or license plates, near entrances and loading docks is suspicious behavior. I have a credit card. Can you check heat in the elevator that's so right behind you? Um, you sort of credit card will do. No, no credit card. Terrorists and criminals do their um, best to cover their tracks. This may include paying in cash or using false identification. Hang on a second. Uh, let me call you back. I'm sorry, What's up, Bobby. Suzanne? I have this guest who wants to stay for a few weeks and wants to pay in advance in cash. No, well, cash is money last time I checked. What's the problem? Did you ask him for a credit card? Yeah, I did. He said he doesn't have one. He doesn't use them. No credit cards? How about an ID? Well, he gave me one. I don't, it just doesn't feel right. Well... Everyone's normal until they check into a hotel. <laughs> problem? I guess it's not a problem. It's just weird. Okay, we have everything checked out then. That's for you. And I'll... If your interaction with the patron feels odd, if that person appears nervous or anxious, refuses to show ID, if the ID seems to be altered, or if the guest insists on paying with cash for sums that are customarily charged and refuses to show a credit card, alert your manager or security personnel. This is suspicious behavior. When I heard she was going to be on the show this season, I was completely floored. <laughs> Who knew she could dance? And she's wonderful. She is. And that partner of hers, what's his name? Rudolfo. He is an artist. Anyway. In a lodging environment, it's not unusual for bags to stand unattended for short periods of time. Grace, did you see that? What? A woman. She left that bag at the table. No, but people leave things there all the time. I know, but it looked like she did it on purpose. And she was acting a little strange. and It doesn't look like she's coming back for it. Oh, she will. She's probably just getting a coffee. It'll be fine. Suitcases, backpacks, and boxes may contain explosives or other harmful substances. Pay attention to your instincts. Leaving bags or boxes unattended in a deliberate or calculated manner, or for long periods of time, is suspicious behavior. Hey, 
Artur, on Ego Special, Table 3 is getting cranky. Hey, Dimitri. Hey, how you doing? Eh, same old. How's Cassie today? Got me working hard. You working banquet tonight? Always. Terrorists and criminals may try to access secure or employee-only areas, or steal uniforms or staff IDs as they plan or carry out attacks. Hey, uh, you know who that guy is? No, is he new? Hey, buddy, did you punch him yet? Some people. Really? He's not going to make any friends around here, huh? Definitely not. All right, I'll see you later. All right, see you later. Be aware of people who attempt to gain access to restricted areas, take pictures or video of, or ask unusual questions about security, shifts, or things a guest wouldn't need to know. This is suspicious behavior. Housekeeping! Attacks carried out in places of lodging around the world have wounded and killed thousands. They have damaged and destroyed places of work. They have frightened away patrons and travelers, leading to economic hardship and job losses. If it looks suspicious, it is suspicious. Attacks, why hotels overseas are the new targets, and who's behind the latest attack. Chaos moments after the blasts, two explosions minutes apart. At least eight people died. Several Americans were among the injured. Police said the blasts were inside the hotel's coffee shops during breakfast. This surveillance camera video shows the lobby just as the bomb exploded from the cafe. Two suicide bombers had breached tight security by checking in as guests. Police say they based themselves in a room on the 18th floor of where the bombs were assembled and where one... The threat is real. But many more attacks have been stopped, often because people like you noticed something unusual and took action. No security plans and procedures. If you witness suspicious behavior, listen to your instincts. Notify your manager, hotel security personnel, or the police. A woman left a bag just outside the door, and it doesn't look like she's going to come back for it. Hey, boss, it's Dimitri. Yeah, listen, some shady guy just came into the back entrance. We need to bring him somebody quickly. The room has all kind of stuff. It's very scary. Hey, I've got an unattended vehicle out here. Yeah, the driver just walked off, and I don't think this guy's coming back. Can we get somebody out here to look at this? You know what? You're right. Let's call this thing in. You shouldn't investigate. You shouldn't intervene. But you can make a difference in keeping our hotels safe by reporting suspicious behavior. In big hotels and small, roadside motels and B&Bs, we gather to stay, shop, dine, work, and play. By staying aware and being willing to act, you can help protect your hotel, guests, staff, employees, and the American way of life. Have no reservations. If you see something, say something.